Hello students, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to see the sixth chapter, linear equation in two variables. So what is linear equation means? First of all, if the equation has degree 1, okay, so just like this, x plus y is equal to 3. So that it is called linear equation. That means power here only 1, no? so degree 1. So, if degree is 1, that is linear equation. So, if I wrote like this, x square plus y square is equal to 5. Here, degree is 2 now. So, this is not linear equation. Linear equation means the degree must be 1. Okay. And two variables. So, there must be two variables. Here, x and y is there now. So, these are two variables. So, this is linear equation in two variables. So see here, if a linear equation has two variables, then it is called linear equation in two variables. Very simple students, linear equation means the degree must be 1 and linear equation in two variables means linear equation which has two variables. That means x, y, a, b, p, q like that. Two variables must be there. That is called a linear equation in two variables. So now page number 128, try this. So before this, try this. The general form of linear equation in two variables is ax plus by plus c equals to 0. This is the general form. Okay. So see now. Express the following linear equation in the form of ax plus by plus c equals to 0. And indicate the values of a, b, c in each case. So, here we have to write the given equations first of all like this. ax plus by plus c equals to 0. Okay. Right hand side 0 must be there. So, 3x plus 2y equals to 9. So, if we transpose this 9 to this side, this will be minus is equal to 0. Now, just compare with ax plus by plus c equals to 0. So, what is a? a equals to 3. And what is b? b equals to 2. And what is c? c equals to minus 9. Right. Similarly, here minus 2x plus 3y equals to 6. If we transpose, this is minus 6 equals to 0. Again, just compare with ax plus by plus c equals to 0. a equals to minus 2. b equals to 3. c equals to minus 6. With the sign, you have to write. Students, I think you are getting my point. Just a simple comparison. Okay. See, third one, 9x minus 5y equals to 10. So, if we transpose this 10, it will be minus equals to 0. So, just compare with ax plus by plus c equals to 0. So, before x, what is the coefficient of x? That means in the place of a, 9. In the place of b, minus 5. In the place of c, minus 10. Okay. Now, the fourth one. x by 2 minus y by 3 minus 5 equals to 0. Okay. So, after seeing these fractions, don't get tens. Okay. So, just the number before x only we have to write. So, this is x by 2 means 1 by 2 into x only. Na? So, write 1 by 3 into y minus 5 equals to 0. So, now compare with ax plus by plus c equals to 0. So, what is a here? 1 by 2 a equals to 1 by 2 and b equals to this minus 1 by 3. Now c equals to minus 5. Okay. So this one and the fifth one 2x is equal to y. So when we transpose the RHS must be 0. No? So we have to transpose it will be minus. So 2x minus y equals to 0. 
just compare with ax plus by plus c equals to 0. So what is a here? a equals to 2 and b in the place of b minus 1. If there is no number, 1 is there. So b equals to minus 1 and c there is no number constant emulator. So c equals to 0. So, very simply, just by comparing with ax plus by plus c equals to 0, you can write.